All right, so we finally have act activity from Activision. Uh, it says Activision Blizzard says more than 20 employees. 20 employees have been fired in the wake of harassment lawsuit. More than 20 other employees have faced additional discipline. Disp so... So 20 have been fired, and then a, an additional 20 have faced uh, additional discipline. But Kate, Cat, Cat Bailey. Sorry about that. All right, so it comes with a little video. Fired in the wake of harassment lawsuit. That's what we just read. In addition, more face other types of disciplinary actions. It's not clear if this list, so we don't know. Yeah, I actually just saw, weren't, yeah, they're talking about, uh, about changing McCree's name because of this guy, which is, it's sad to see, you know, this guy, this character's name having to be changed, but it's, it's good to see that they they're thinking about this. They they don't want such an amazing character to be, for lack of a better word, dishonored um, by a developer that just decided to do stupid shit. But. Um, Activision Blizzard also says it will triple its investment into training resources. That's good. This update arrived on the same day that AB asked courts to halt proceedings around the lawsuit. Okay. Following allegations that agency had violated ethics rules, Activision Blizzard is seeking to have the case move to a court that specialized in complex litigation. Uh. <laughs> this could potentially stall or even kill the case. I don't know what was going on in the background there, but it looked pretty cool. More than 20 Activision Blizzard employees have been fired since harassment allegations first came to light. According to Francis Townsend, Francis or Francis? No, it's Francis. Okay, Townsend, Activision Blizzard's Executive Vice President for Corporate Affairs. In addition, more than 20 others have faced other types of di disciplinary action. Activision Blizzard's announcements came as part of a larger update in which Townsend outlined the publisher's response to the various allegations that have dogged the company since the summer. They include adding three more positions to the company's ethics and compliance team with 19 more planned for the future. That's, that's pretty good. Um, I mean, if nothing else, more jobs, right? That's what, let's see, three, 20, 22 more jobs right there. <laughs> All right. Activision Blizzard also says it will triple its investment into training resources. That's good. That's always good to hear. What is this, though? Let's. Overwatch announces. Okay. Thank you for yelling. Yeah, see, this is what I saw. I think I saw a picture of it on Twitter. Hero is named after Jesse McCree, former lead develop oh lead designer of Diablo Four. Oh, that's uh interesting. I don't know what he specifically did. Maybe. Dun dun dun. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't. I don't know if we have any like specifics of what he might have done. Maybe you do. I, I don't know. I'm very, you know, 
toe deep into this. <laughs> so, um, but that sucks that he was the lead designer for Diablo 4. That means that we are down a lead designer for Diablo 4, which I think is almost out, isn't it? I don't remember. He no longer works? Yeah. Um, let's see. Statement via the official Overwatch Twitter account. Okay, so this is probably what I saw. We believe it's necessary to change the name of the hero currently known as McCree to something that better represents what Overwatch stands for. Okay. <clears throat> Team also announced going from moving up. Oh, <laughs> that's a smart choice. <laughs> this will help reinforce that we're building a fictional universe that is unmistakably different from the real world and better illustrates that the creation of Overwatch is truly a team effort. The event that probably featured McCree was scheduled for September 2021. However, the event has been delayed and replaced by a new FFA map. Wow. Okay. Uh, it is not clear if Activision's list includes prominent Blizzard veterans Louis Bariga, Jesse McCree, and Jonathan LeCraft who were dismissed from the company in August. Townsend's message was emailed to employees and also posted on Activision Blizzard's corporate website. It was released on the same day that Activision Blizzard asked courts to briefly halt proceedings around the California Department of Fair Employment and Housing. This lawsuit following allegation that the agency had violated ethics rules. Activision Blizzard is also seeking to have the case moved to a court special that yeah so all this is what we saw um, Activision previously announced a settlement with the US Equal Opportunity Commission for 18 million Townsend herself has been immune to criticism over the course of the case, in August, she stepped down as the sponsor for the ABK Women's Network after issuing a statement saying the allegations surrounding the company were distorted and false. We very much know that that is not true. The allegations surrounding the company are definitely true, especially considering everything they have done to deal with the situation not you know i'm not saying that they you know in all i don't know in all complete honesty who is someone is honking out there anyway uh in complete honesty with my limited knowledge of how to run a business how businesses work a lot of companies made, you know, 20, 30 years ago at this point are, you know, if they have gotten big enough, uh, are big enough to where these guys at the very, very top, they honestly don't know a single thing of what's going down uh, on the floor. Like, it's, it's ridiculous how out of touch they really are. Um, again, not saying that that is an excuse for anything going on and the, the higher ups that have stepped down are in the right for doing so. Um, let's see, got a whole bunch of pictures here. There's no need to deal with allegations of sexual harassment, discrimination and abuse of women and other marginalized groups have surrounded the company since the lawsuit first made headlines back in July. The ensuing walkout forced Activision Blizzard to reckon with a pattern of bad behavior 
spanning more than a decade. Decade? Yeah. Uh, with former President J. Allen Brock among those forced to step down as a result. Activision Blizzard has since promised to address its toxic internal culture while providing payouts for affected employees. In the meantime, Blizzard in particular continues to suffer a notable talent drain. I mean, with everything going on, I kind of don't feel bad. Like, of course you're going to experience a talent drain when you're literally harassing the talent like what do you what do you expect what do you expect but was this article informative all right so thank you IGN for a very informative post um it's great to see uh movements it's great to see the ball rolling to see that they have reacted in such a manner is pro I, yeah it's good to see that they're they're making some changes um at first i didn't agree with the mccready thing but um especially since they're they're kind of like just nipping it in the butt the whole way no one's getting uh you know no one developer is getting any more characters or anything like that named after them and that's that's for the best so well that's all the news i have on that today um if you want if you want me to keep up with it a little bit um and kind of let you know what's going on as i find out what's going on <laughs> um just let me know down in the comments below if you want to hear more kind of news gaming news stuff like this um i might be inclined to do stuff like this um i definitely don't want to just react to trailers my entire life that would be boring um but hopefully you enjoyed the video and if you did please let me know down in the comments let me know with that like button and maybe hit that subscribe button a little bit i make currently a bunch of reaction uh reactions to current trailers video games and uh little news reports here um so if you're interested in any of that be sure to subscribe and don't miss a video <laughs> have a great day Bye.